In this video, I will attempt to prove and illustrate the chain rule. But first, we need a lemma, or helping result, that is true for all differentiable functions. So consider a differentiable function, f. The natural exponential is a convenient choice. We will first pick an arbitrary x value, where, of course, f is differentiable, then pick an arbitrary delta x, representing a small distance. We define delta y to be the increment of y when we change x to x plus delta x. Because f is differentiable, its der derivative at x exists and is given by the slope of the green tangent line shown here. We now define a function epsilon as the difference between the average rate of change and the derivative. That is, epsilon is the difference between the slope of the red secant line and the slope of the green tangent line. In the case of our exponential, we can use properties of exponents, then factor out e to the x to obtain the pink expression. Note that epsilon is a function of delta x and is plotted in the bottom right of your screen. Observe that epsilon contains a hole, or a removable discontinuity when delta x is zero. So, we will fill that hole by defining epsilon to be the limit zero when delta x approaches zero. This makes epsilon a continuous function and proves the lemma shown in blue. Now to go about proving the chain rule, we need the inside function u to be differentiable at a and an outside function y to be differentiable at b, which equals g of a. Using the previous lemma, we can define continuous functions epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 as follows. So as delta x approaches 0, both delta u and epsilon 1 will approach 0. Then, substitute the expression for delta u in the first equation for delta u in the second equation. Divide by non-zero delta x and take the limit as delta x approaches 0. Finally, evaluate the limit and conclude that the derivative of a composite function is the product of the derivatives. Now for an illustration. Let's begin with a composite function such as e to the 2 sine of x. The inside function is u equals 2 times sine of x, which has amplitude 2 and period 2 pi. It's shown in red. The outside function is e to the u. As is the case for all composite functions, the output of the inside function becomes the input of the outside function. We're going to place the exponential curve at the bottom so you can see how the composite function is generated from two separate function evaluations to produce the pink curve as a function of x. Now let's apply the chain rule, which says that the derivative of the composite, we're going to give the derivative in purple, equals the derivative of the outside, green, times the derivative of the inside, brown. This animation goes pretty quick, so let's look at the same animation at half speed and the actual slopes of each curve. Feel free to pause throughout and confirm that the slope of the purple tangent line is always the product of the green slope and the brown slope. I hope this sheds some light on your comprehension of the chain rule. 